A Minneapolis homeowner is pleading for help. His property has been taken over by people living in tents. Not only is this homeowner concerned for his safety, his neighbors are worried too. Only on WCCO, Rex Chapman spoke with him and a former encampment specialist about this tough issue. Yulin Wynn drives by his property daily and watches as the number of tents grow. We see a lot of um, uh, folks who are addicted. Um, I mean, there's needles all over the ground. Um, I mean, there's trash everywhere. There's shopping carts everywhere. Neighbors also keeping up to date on activities in the lot by sending him pictures and videos of open air drug dealing and prostitution. Oh my gosh, it's happening again because we had dealt with this before. Wynn says this all started three years ago when the city cleared the Hiawatha encampment. After that, he says tents began popping up on his property in the middle of the Phillips neighborhood. The police were pretty helpful clearing it out the last few years, but for some reason this year, I've called them four times. And every time they, um, you know, they, uh, they, they put us on hold or they said, yeah, we'll send out somebody out there. But according to Wynn, police never showed up, so he kept calling and sending pictures of what was happening. I, I think we all know it's not a housing issue, it's an addiction issue. So I hope that these people can get the help that they need. After weeks of no response from city officials, Wynn called WCCO. Our calls and emails and pictures to the city got some traction. Thanks to you, uh, the city official has uh, contacted me and they're uh, putting me in contact with an encampment specialist, so I don't really know what that means. So I haven't been reached out by that person yet. The city is failing and they're not talking to the community leaders. Marin Hardy is a former homeless response coordinator for the city of Minneapolis. It's 100% an addiction issue. This is not homelessness. They're homeless because of their addiction. She believes more resources need to be put into treatment and the revival of drug court. For now, this tent city continues to grow and neighbors, afraid to speak on camera for fear of retaliation from those who stay here, feel like hostages in their own community. We have to have some kind of solution. Um, those people there don't deserve to live in that kind of conditions. Reg Chapman, WCCO News. At the time of this report, Wynn says the encampment specialist has not reached out to him.